Hi guys, and welcome back to my AC Milan recreating Carlo Ancelotti's tactics. So last time we did qualify for the Europa League. So there's been five matches. We've had uh, some good results and some average results. No losses though. And let's load our game against Hellas. Verona, let's just watch the goals. First so we did play Calabria in centre mid because you know had some injuries had to rest and I thought you know what we can play them there while they're not the completely the best so there we go we got Theo Hernandez on the wing into Brahim Diaz who gets a beautiful header and then we have Brahim pin out to Salamakas who whips it in to Calabria and I think Ibrahimovic got that goal right after took a slight deflection and the final goal going out wide to Diego Dalot Puts it through to Brahim, who just chips the goalkeeper. And that was the end of that. So then, the next match, we did play Sampdoria. Which was a tight game, really. Not in XG, but we left it late to actually do anything. As you see on the left there, we did manage to win in the 89th minute. So, I was a little bit, you know, scared of getting a draw out of this game. It starts with Ibrahimovic with Pe to Pellegrini from a free kick who gets a nice header. And they have a nice corner from Kondreva with Quagliarella. What a beautiful shot from that, putting it in the back corner, bottom corner, not back corner. Then we had a throw in Theo to Hakan Shanaloglu to Pellegrini. And Theo whaps it, whacks it in to Maldini who gets a nice goal in the league for us. Then the other results, we did have a draw against Kiev and a draw versus Red Star. But there was two game, well, there was two penalties in the Roma Milan match. Just how it was. Basically, just game was decided by who could score the penalty, and both teams scored their penalty. So can't really complain, as both teams did convert theirs. Let's just generate the match report. Okay, we're still looking at the, we're not looking at that game. We're looking at the Sampdoria. Okay, so Ibrahimovic puts it in the bottom right. And then Veritu puts it in the bottom left. So, pretty simple. We did lose out. Some points there to Roma. But, we're still unbeaten in the whole season. We've not lost in the Europa League. We've had four draws, five wins. No, sorry, six wins. So, we're doing good overall. Currently sitting fifth, which the board are happy about. But in two days, we do have one of the biggest games of the season. Against our local rivals in the same stadium but we only have one rest day which is not great but we have to deal with it I thought you know hopefully we can have some more rest but apparently we cannot so let's see if we can do better now in this game So we've got some inbox messages. Just telling us what they want to start. So they want to go with Donnarumma, Atalkia, Duarte, Dalot, Gabia at DM. Okay. Maldini and Diaz up there. I'll, t I'll pick you suggested squad, but I can change it around once we get there. So let's see where it goes from here. So, Conte is having to avoid nerves. Yeah, we've got a post-match analysis. We didn't do well, we should have scored. I hate this because it doesn't show where we are, so I've got to try and find it individually. I just don't think we're on here. Honestly, I just don't. Are we on here or not? Let's check. Oh, no, we're there. Oh, no, that we're there, my mistake. So we're quite impenetrable, and then attacking efficiency, we're literally on top of the other Milan. So, attacking wise the exact same, but we have a better defence. So that's good, better defence, about the same attack. Only issue is, I've just seen their team and it does look like they're going to be playing a lot, well very wide. Which some of our formation does not like to do is play wide. Not our training reports, Jen, Luigi, Don, have done well. 
So onto the Madonia derby. I don't know if I said that right or not, but I probably butchered that. But you know, we'll have to deal with that. So we've got a... Oh, does Davide Calabria deserve an international call-up? Just some of those great, you know, press conferences we all love to do. So our under-18s have lost to Cagliari, but our under-20s have won. Emil Roback, Roback, how good is he? What's his potential? Because he's done very well. Not the best potential, so we'll ignore him. He's still young, though, playing for the under-20s. Should be in the under-18s, but... Unless he somehow manages to change his potential drastically, he will not be featuring. Let's go to the tactical meeting. Make two changes. We'll take, we'll just make them. Those play down the right, okay, and I'll put instructions, yep, so let's go team selection. I just want to check if there isn't anyone else I can bring on who's better. Okay, so I'll put you there, and we'll, we'll keep Aldini on. Pellegrini, what's your... You aren't fully ready, so I don't want to start you, actually. I don't want to pull you in. Calabria's back. Kessier can only play 45 minutes. Ooh, this doesn't look good. Our midfield does look se severely weakened, but we're going to have to go for it. I'm going to have to hope Kessier can, you know, still pull out the, the string, pull the strings midfield, even though he's not got the greatest fitness. The Europa League really does mess with us a lot. So they've obviously got Handanovic... Screening out of Bastoni, Hakimi, Perisic, Vidal, Barella, Brozovic, Martinez, and Lukaku. I'm not going to go for all their subs because I don't know all of them. Apparently, his Latin's feeling aggressive, so is Atal. But they're pulling out a 5 3 2. Well, we've got the classic 4 3 3, as we could call it, or 4 3 2 1. Christmas tree formation, really. Doesn't look like a full Christmas tree, but. Is what they dubbed it as. Let's encourage the entire team here. Hakimi is already injured, so will that be a sub? Atala's taken a knock. Want me to bring on Salamakas? I feel like Atal can deal with it. Yeah, he's back up to there. But it's fine. We got Kia, Romagnoli out to Diego Dalot. Pulls it back to Romagnoli. Dalot. To Ibra, to Brahim, to Kessier. Who has a long shot. Oh, and it's just gone straight over the bar. It was close there. Worried the goalkeeper a lot. Vidal gets a yellow card now. They now have a highlight with Ashley Young to Vidal. Just chipping it over there to Young. Tonali tries to clip back to Young. And Ashley Young has scored. How has he done that? We should, Donnarumma should not have been beaten there by Ashley Young. Oh dear, this has not been good. Apparently Gabby needs to come on for Kessier soon. We'll do it now, just for half time. Go to the dressing room. You know, it's fresh arms, we've not been happy. I'm far from pleased with what I just saw. Everyone's motivated. I just want to check, how good is Gabby actually in that position? Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, let's bring Tonali up to a boarding folder and Gabby can be the register. Just add a little bit more familiarity in that. Why not be the might not be the best fit? At least he's a little bit closer to it normally. Atal's been playing well, so let's bring on a replacement for him, see if they can do better. And I feel Hakan Shanaloglu. Let's see if he can do anything big. Not really have many chances, so this has not been a good match at all for us. But ball into box, let's do that. Let's see if it changes. Right, very attacking. We've got to try and make some of it now. Who do we have? Lorenzo Pellegrini for Krunic. Where's Lorenzo Pellegrini? You know what? Pull you up for Brahim Diaz. We'll go for that. We'll just change to advanced playmaker attack quickly. 
want to get you all attacking Raheem Diaz, you know what will make you be an advanced playmaker. We'll go all out attacking. Hoj, bring over Tenali, and then where's Tenali? Bring you up. We'll get you as a shadow striker. We need to get all out attack. But they've got a highlight in the background, as I did not see. They're going on the wing to Perisic. Oh, he's offside, okay. This wasn't really the biggest, most impressive highlight. There doesn't seem to be any more highlights as they're sitting back. Is anything else going to happen in this game? Do not think so. Yep. It's ended. 1-0 loss to Inter Milan at home. No, oh, away, should I say. Even though it's at home, technically, it's away. Not happy with that performance. Very, not very happy at all with how we performed there, but we are sitting now in sixth. We're probably going to lose some more places. Ashley Young with a lucky goal managed to get through and score, so we're going to have to deal with that. But yeah, we got uh, unlucky there, so let's have a look at schedule. When's the next match I'm going to come back for? Oh, we're not even in months anymore, Jesus. We've got Juventus soon. Oh, God, it's going to be a massive game. Might have to come back for that. But thanks for watching. See you and goodbye.